All right, who's hyped right now, guys, for Direb's new game that's going to be coming out soon? Fmon is here to bring you guys the newest and latest information on his game. Quote, Anime Fighters 2, what's up? Fmon is here. Please, if you're hyped right now, like the video. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Direb's new game that's coming out, guys. F- is pretty hyped about it. But since the last video, I'm sure you guys do know that uh, Anime Fighters over here, maybe it's not getting an update. However, Direb is working on a new game. I've already made two videos on all the leaks, and I have a little bit more information for you guys in this video. Starting with this right here, if you guys haven't joined Direb's Discord server, it is in the description of the video. He's going to start opening up tester applications pretty soon. We don't know exactly when. However, he did make a Discord post about it, and then he deleted it, so you guys got to watch out for that. Join his Discord right now. That way, you you guys will get the latest information and F- will also get it to you guys. Besides that, like I said in the last video F- put out, a lot of you guys in the comments were saying what you guys thought on his new game that's coming out. Some of you guys had questions, a lot of you guys just had some, you know, a little bit of concerns on exactly how his new game is gonna work. We already know that some of the features, gameplay style of the original anime fighters, it might and more than likely will transfer to his newest game. You can probably already expect secret units, mythical units. That's just the standard guys for any anime simulator game on Roblox. Anime Lost Simulator has secret units, mythical units. So you can already expect that for his new game. But wait, what makes Anime Fighters so unique? Well, for one, this game has been regularly receiving updates as of six months ago. So it stopped updating about six, seven months ago. However, before that, it was so consistent, guys. Every week, every two weeks, there was always an update. And this game lasted like a little bit more than a year. It actually popped off. And just to show you guys why that's such a big deal, why Direb's new game that's coming out is going to be the number one thing that's going to be talked about in the anime community besides those bandit beater games like blocks fruits and like gpo is because look at the screen right here this is not entirely accurate anime fighters actually like i think almost climbed to like 200,000. but you guys can see on like what september 2021 it's been about a year since then maybe a year and a half anime fighters had 169,000 players on it guys there is no other anime simulator game on roblox like that. I know there's Pet Simulator X. I know there's Blocks Fruits. You guys got to keep in mind, back in the day, dude, Anime Fighters used to rival Pet Simulator X in terms of players. So, you know, Anime Fighters, 170,000. Nowadays, even the best simulator games that are anime related, they only get like 10,000 players, guys. Maybe no more than like 15,000. I think the number one game right now is Anime Lost Simulator. And I'm only strictly of simulator games because that's mostly what we play on the channel. But uh, pretty sure the number one thing, guys, you guys have been uh, saying in the comments is check it out on the screen right now. I guess, does all data transfer over to his new game? Specifically, do the game passes transfer over? Extra equip, 2x yen, 2x exp, ultra lucky. All these game passes you guys have purchased or maybe have gotten gifted. Maybe even all the Robux stuff. You guys, these Robux fighters over here, maybe you guys purchased some Robux eggs and then you guys have them. Like if you remember F- over here, I do have some Robux eggs. I spent a lot of money on this game. So that's probably the number one thing you guys are asking. Now keep in mind, all the stuff that I'm about to say, it's mostly speculation, but you can make an educated guess on whether or not all the stuff 
stuff that you guys are asking if it's gonna be true or not so are they gonna you know transfer game passes because you guys been spending like thousands maybe tens of thousands of robux i myself spent about 550,000 robux now i spent it on you guys donated game passes so at least for me that's fine but is all the game passes are the, all the game passes going to transfer over and the answer is technically yes but also it's really up to direv so you guys got to know whether or not is it even possible to transfer game passes from one game to another well f minus pulled up a little google search here you guys can actually check this out on the screen so i guess other developers on roblox they ask each other questions it is possible if you take a look at it, you can pause the video right now. Look at the second post. Raiden, programmer right there. He says, all you got to do is type in a, like a little command over there. And it should work to transfer game passes from one game to another. Now, keep in mind, that's not confirmed to work. But according to this post over here, apparently you can transfer game passes. Now, even if you could, let's say you purchased, I don't know. You got like ultra lucky over here. What does like that? 2,000 Robux, $20. Even if you could transfer game passes, guys, ultimately, it's going to be up to Direb whether or not he wants to do the work, the effort in order to make that happen and like i said it's really up to direv is he gonna let you guys transfer game passes from one game to another let's say the game comes out there's like what 20 30 40 thousand players on it everybody that already had game passes from anime fighters do you really think he's gonna let you guys transfer all that robux to his newest game when he can make you guys purchase all the game passes again maybe you guys know this maybe you guys don't but back in the day direb never he never used to be the person that he i guess he currently is nowadays back in the day direb used to sell secret units in anime fighters yes anime fighters was a legit 1 million percent cash grab back in the day and then as of update 35 it's kind of you know gone away from complete pay to win to a little bit more free to play so if you're free to play in anime fighters well now you guys are able to even reach the last map it never used to be like that guys like third map of the game fourth map of the game i don't remember if it was crazy town fruits island but you could buy secret units in this game for about 300 dollars 400 dollars it was actually insane but yeah that just gives you guys a little perspective on whether or not die is gonna let you guys transfer game pass Yes, apparently it is possible, but it's up to him. Now, what I'm gonna say is, maybe if you've played Anime Fighters 1, maybe he's gonna give you guys like a badge, maybe achievements, maybe titles instead of game passes. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments if you think he's gonna let you. Once again, it is possible to transfer game passes, but it's gonna be up to Direb whether or not he wants to implement that. Now, I do have a couple of like comments and questions besides that that we're gonna pull up and we're gonna take a look at starting with this comment right here ar he says bro i'm not gonna lie that screenshot is making the game look like an anime adventure style of game so i'm gonna say this right now y'all um if direb wanted to make a tower defense game he would not include simulator in the title i don't think there's actually any game on roblox that i've played before and maybe you guys have even played before that has simulator in the title and is also a tower defense game usually simulators they're like what old trademark says instant gratification you attack the enemy instantly gives you coins and stuff it's nothing like a tower defense game so that's just my perspective on it i don't think it's gonna be a tower defense game he wouldn't make the title anime blank simulator and then we also have another question right here from bob the blob he says it's gonna be another money grab so it's like i said earlier in the video direb never used to be as forgiving as he is nowadays like i said it used to be complete pay to win for anime fighters when it first came out and then you know over the updates he's been helping out the free to play players before the game stopped updating is the game gonna be a complete money grab though well you guys gotta look at every other simulator game on roblox anime lost simulator anime soul simulator even some of the games not made by that same developer team anime weapon simulator there's also i believe there's a game called just anime simulator all those games they do have game passes for sale some of the game passes they're pretty cheap 2x yen what is that 399 robux and then other game passes they're like ultra lucky 2000 robux just based on anime fighters one i do believe he's going to price things kind of expensive i mean you could buy what this fighter right here 1500 robux that's almost 20 dollars usd guys 
and then ultra lucky that's like 2000 robux 20 dollars if you take the same things from anime fighters 1 you can kind of expect to see them also in anime fighters 2 so it's not going to be a bad thing that there's going to be expensive game passes i mean for sure there will be game passes every robux game that wants to make money and i know direct want to make money they will have game passes is it going to be a money grab though i would say it's not going to be a complete money grab and i say that because direb he is really consistent he's not like the developers of anime lost simulator anime soul simulator where they literally make a new game every two weeks every three weeks when anime fighters 2 that's not the name of it but you know when anime fighters sequel comes out you guys can already expect direb to be working on it for months maybe even years just like anime fighters so it's up to you how you guys want to think about that is that a money grab I'm going to say he's going to be selling some game passes that are kind of expensive, but I don't think it's going to be a complete money grab because he is going to put the time and the effort to update the game. We're all going to have a good time together playing. Next question we got here are the next comments. We got a VMURU. I don't know if it's going to release on April since I got trust issues on that month. So I know April Fools is coming out pretty soon, guys. However, it's not 100% confirmed, but I've been talking with other YouTubers that Direv has been contacting about his newest game that's coming out for like promotion and stuff. And more than likely, his new game is coming out in April, which is next month. But if you look at the calendar, it's already like a few days away from next month. So you guys can expect Anime Fighters 2 to come out in April. Now that's not 100% confirmed. Like I said, there could be delays, there could be setbacks and stuff. However, just based on all the leaks that have already came out, he's already made the Discord server, he's already released some like sneak peeks, some like the gameplay and stuff. He's actually posted quite a few sneak peeks. Based on all of that, we do know he's like his game, he's been working on it. We don't know how much percent of it has like been completed, but I do know he's already looking for testers. Like I said, he did make a Discord post before he deleted his post. So I would say yes, his game should come out real soon, guys. It will will be in April. That's just based on all the best information and the latest information that we have. We also have another guy right here, Nathan. He wrote a whole damn essay. He said, I genuinely think Anime Fighters 2 is going to be the next big game. I do agree on that. But the reason behind that is the only simulator game that focuses on updates. That's probably one of the other big reasons. You guys know there's other simulator games on Roblox. After they update, what, five times, ten times? They just stop updating. And then after that, they make a new game. Anime Fighters, consistent guys. One year and a half, maybe two years of just constant updates. So yeah, they're definitely going to be updating the games. It goes back to the other question. Is the game going to be a money grab? Well, they're going to update the game for you guys. So you have a lot of playtime in. And then he says the second thing, the developers, they abandoned the games after that. Now his last part, but look at the creator. They actually want their games to be good. I do agree with that. Direb definitely wants his game to be polished. He wants his game to be nice, you know, and pretty. The gameplay to be fun. Now I don't know about if he wants the players to be happy because like I said, I've been playing Anime Fighter since it came out, guys. I don't know. I, I know the real Direb out here, but I do agree that Direb does know his craft. He is good at making games, guys. He knows how to make addicting games now this next one i actually pulled off of twitter so this is like a reply to direb this is kind of important i guess check this out the previous two games you released after afs failed bad how confident are you that this new game will do much better this is a reply to direb direb did not respond to this however if you don't know what this guy is talking about prodigy he's talking about ultimate magnet simulator i said in the last couple of videos you don't know what that game is it it was like a week maybe two weeks and then the game died basically is anime fighters 2 that's literally what he's trying to say is anime fighters 2 or the game you know title in development is it going to be good is it going to be just like the original anime fighters or is it not well i'm gonna say right now if direb makes his new game like ultimate magnet simulator it's it's good game and i don't mean that in a good way like the game is finished however based on all the leaks we have currently seen we know his newest game it's gonna be anime related we already have some like gameplay over here we got like i don't know we got like the flying ship we have gogeta one of frieza's ships over there ultimate magnet simulator had zero anime in it it was like pet simulator x technically so that's one of the reasons why direb's new game failed i mean there are a lot of games out there on roblox like pet simulator x there's nothing anime in it they do well 
well. However, Direb is known for making anime-type games. So all the people that are playing his games, I mean, people that are promoting it, well, they're gonna be like people like myself, oh, trademark, other people that play simulator games out there, YouTubers. So if all you've been doing is just releasing anime games, and then you come out with something completely different, well, the audience isn't gonna transfer, it's not gonna transition as well as you might think. That's one of the reasons why Ultimate Magnet Simulator failed. I guess you could say nobody really asked for it. Now, for Anime Fighters 2, oh, you know, or however, everybody been asking for this for a very long time at least the sequel to anime fighters so hopefully direb can take some of the gameplay some of the features from anime fighters one that's literally all he has to do just transfer the divine units the leveling system the way you attack units you can level up the incubation chamber time chamber take all the good stuff from anime fighters one there is 0% chance for Direb to fail. I'm not even joking about that. You guys can also tell me in the comments as well. That's how easy it is game plan wise. All he has to do is just take the features from Anime Fighters 1, put it to Anime Fighters 2, put a new spin on it, and it'll be successful. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000, maybe even 100,000 players playing Anime Fighters 1. Now we also have another thing from Direb's Twitter page. So this is like the latest piece of information that we have on his game. He replied to this actually I think a little bit after the last video that I upload. Basically people were asking for the title's new game because we don't know if it's Anime Fighters 2. We don't know if it's like Anime Champion Simulator. I don't, we don't know if it's like Anime Collector Simulator. You guys are saying a lot of things. And then Direb said you'll have to wait. How long do we have to wait for? I don't know guys, but I can say it should be in April with high certainty. Testing in April guys, and then we're gonna start playing it in April. So Anime Lost Simulator, Anime Soul Simulator, all those simulator games on Roblox that are anime related, they got some serious competition coming up. Besides all of those things that I talked about, we can also go over all of the leaks that Direb has given us. So starting with this, I just put it on the screen. It looks a little, a little neat, a little nice. We basically have Luffy. This is one of the leaks he posted in his Discord server. It's Luffy sitting under a tree. What does that mean? You can expect a One Piece styled map in his new game that's coming out. It could be one of the worlds, just like Anime Fighters. Like I said, guys, it's not too difficult. You just got to take some of the features from Anime Fighters 1. If you can transfer all of this right here, Tokyo Ghoul, he transfers Hunter Hunter, Sword Art Online, all of the anime that's here, Jujutsu Kaisen, One Punch Man, he just transfers it to his newest game, all the ideas at least, and then you have a successful game right there. And this, that's basically what this leak is. It's one of the worlds that's coming out. I think for the original anime fighters, what is it? The fourth map in the game? Fruits Island. That's basically what this image is showing. Now, we don't know if Luffy is like an NPC. We don't know if he's just like background, like eye candy or something, but he might be an NPC or something like that. And then we also have the video that I showed you of the gameplay. It's only like, what, three seconds long, but you can see on the upper left-hand corner, we have Frieza's ship. We have Gogeta in the upper right-hand corner. And then we also have like an NPC that's floating in the very bottom middle. And I actually put a screenshot image. You can see it on the screen right now, exactly what I'm talking about. Frieza spaceship on the upper left-hand corner corner upper right hand corner Gogeta and then somebody in the comments said that's uh at the very bottom that's uh Krillin that's Krillin but that's like a red like the person's skin color is red I don't think uh Krillin's uh skin color is red but I mean if you guys want to say it's Krillin I guess you can say it's Krillin like it's clearly it's red but yeah it's basically like a guy with a NPC and he's floating it could be a player somebody also said that this is like a portal to go to another world so you guys know in anime fighters there are portal like portals it just so happens uh i guess there's none for made in abyss but normally you guys will go to the next world you travel through the door that's what you guys are saying in the comments let me know in the comments what you guys think what this spaceship thing is in the very middle could be related to one piece i mean it looks like a you know pirate ship over there but yeah we do have gogeta so we know there's dragon ball we know there's one piece already from the last elite and there could be mounts it could be an enemy it could be a boss room time trial a portal all we know is that whatever's on the screen right there there's a dude floating and you guys can also see uh i guess reaver said the ufo thing is a frieza spaceship okay and then we also have the one flying in the air is gogeta it's exactly like i said guys in the last video but yeah those are pretty much all the questions comments concerns that you guys had at least the most important ones on anime fighters 
2. It's not going to be called Anime Fighters 2. We're still waiting on the official game title, but make sure you guys join his Discord server. Like I said, he is looking for testers, so if you guys want to test his new game out, maybe get an in-game title, maybe get an extra advantage over other players when his game comes out so you know what's coming to the game. Well, make sure you guys join his Discord server. It's going to be in the description of this video. Anytime Direct posts some new information on the game, F- will let you guys know. Really do appreciate, though, your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.